Hi friends, thank you for joining me today. My name is Andrea and this is the third episode of my Ataki Shibuki series. So far I've showed you how to make beef and broccoli and tomato beef rice in the Shibuki pot. If you haven't seen them, please consider checking out my playlist for my Shibuki series. In this episode, I'll show you how to make pepper steak stir fry. It's an American Chinese dish that many of you might be familiar with. I did reduce the spiciness from the classic recipe just a bit because I'm making it more kid friendly for my kids. But it's still hearty, warm, and filling and a good way to add some veggies into your lunch. All right, let's get started. Meals in the Shibuki take just a little prep work since the idea is to cook away from home or in places without a full kitchen. What I've done here is I've prepared all of my ingredients beforehand and I've put them into these little containers which are so convenient. I can take my prepared ingredients and cook anywhere. If you're going to be cooking away from home in the Shibuki, I recommend that you get a nice decent set that's leak proof and stores compactly. I've got links below to the containers that I used. Okay, so I have here one minced clove of garlic, one quarter of an onion roughly chopped. I also have here one quarter each of yellow, orange, and red bell peppers, which I've roughly chopped. Now you don't have to use three different colors of peppers. You can just use one orange or red or yellow. Personally, I don't really like using green peppers for this dish because of the bitterness and I often cook for my kids who don't like the taste either. Here I have my rice. Prepare however much you need. In this container, I have the sauce for my pepper steak, which is just one quarter tablespoon of oyster sauce, three quarter teaspoon of soy sauce, one quarter teaspoon of freshly ground black pepper, one pinch of sugar and a pinch of salt. If you can handle your spice, you can increase the amount of ground black pepper to your liking. And finally, I have here one quarter pound of strip loin steak cut into thin slices, which has been marinating in this container. To make the marinade, combine one inch sliced ginger, half a teaspoon of cornstarch, one quarter teaspoon of dark soy sauce, one quarter teaspoon of sesame oil, one eighth teaspoon of baking soda, half a teaspoon of water. Then you can add the beef and stir. Marinate the beef for at least half an hour if you don't plan to marinate it when you're prepping your other ingredients. First, we're gonna start off by making a single portion of rice. For us, that's 80 milliliters of rice, which is basically two cups of the little cup that comes with the Ataki Pro. We'll be cooking the rice in the steamer tray of the Shibuki pot. You can use any bowl to cook your rice so long as it's steam proof and it fits inside the steamer tray of the Shibuki. So let's wash our rice and we'll do this by adding a good amount of water to the rice, swirling the rice around with our fingers and then pouring out the water and then repeating another two times. This just cleans the rice and gets rid of any excess starch. The rice to water ratio is one to one, so we're going to add 80 milliliters of water to our washed rice. Add about two cups of water to the shibuki pot, place the bowl of the rice into the steamer basket and place a steamer basket on top of the shibuki pot. Close the lid and turn the pot to low heat and let it steam for about 25 minutes. Okay, so now let's cook the beef. Turn the shibuki pot to high and add one half tablespoon of oil. The shibuki pot heats up quickly, so this is going to take seconds. Next, add the beef and brown it. Once the beef is to your preferred doneness, remove it from the shibuki pot onto a separate plate. Next, turn the heat to low and add in an extra one half tablespoon of oil and then the garlic and let it cook until the garlic is fragrant. Add in a splash of water to deglaze the bottom of the shibuki pot if you need to. Next, add in the onions and bell peppers and cook for about a minute. Mm -hmm. 
Add in the remaining stock. Return the beef to the shibuki. Give it a quick toss. Then add the sauce and stir until thickened. Finally, now you can take some of the pepper steak and pour it over your rice and enjoy. Thank you again for joining me today. If you liked my video, please click the like button and don't forget to subscribe for more food ideas to make in the shibuki. Until next time, friends. Mwah.